now knowing that there's this SAP process, uh, what is your perspective on that as a patient? Um, how does this change things for you? Well, there's a, a couple of things that I think uh, are probably uh, relevant from a patient perspective. Uh, number one is uh, the primary difference between uh, the Section 56 and uh, the SAP for me is with a Section 56, it's really... Uh, discussing my medical issues with bureaucrats and having uh, a bureaucrat uh, decide whether or not um, I am able to access this particular therapy. Whereas with the SAP, uh, this now is closer to what I would really prefer as, uh, as a solution where I'm discussing my medical issues with a medical doctor who can then determine whether this is uh, the proper course of treatment for me or not. So um, uh, again, that's, uh, it's nice to have the idea that there will be a system where my dirty laundry in terms of medical conditions is going to be kept between somebody who is somebody I consider confidential with uh, my medical information, uh, whereas uh, a, a public uh, bureaucratic official, while they're you know, certainly doing a good job with uh, processing the uh, applications, I wouldn't necessarily consider them to be people that I would like to discuss my medical history with if I did not absolutely have to. 